Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at some new and improved things in the Creative Cloud desktop application that all, you know tend to go unnoticed because people just, oh, they do the update, they don't really see anything that jumps out at them and they just keep working as they always did. Well, actually, things just got a little easier for people that are looking for uh, ways to keep their apps updated and, of course, uninstall apps that they're no longer using. Maybe you downloaded an app uh, from Creative Cloud, you installed it on one computer, you tried using it, you did everything you needed to do, and you're done with it on that computer, so you want to uninstall it. Well, traditionally, that would mean going to the uh, finding the uninstaller and so forth and so on. And people ask, how come I just can't uninstall it from the Creative Cloud app? Well, now you can. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these Im hidden improvements. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the Creative Cloud menu. And under the Apps tab, I will see my apps. And if they say up to date, that means there are no updates waiting for them. One of the things I hear a lot are from people that say, hey, I'm looking for the specific filter you showed in Photoshop and I don't see it. And that's typically because they're not on the latest version of Photoshop. In, in June of 2014, June 18th, um, we introduced the 2014 release of Creative Cloud. And therefore, that created new binaries for all the applications, or most of them, to where you needed to actually install the 2014 version to keep going forward and getting the new features. So um, if, you're, if yours doesn't say 2014, then you're not on the latest, and you need to go and find it in the list and install it. Uh, the next thing I want to point out before I forget is when you scroll down to that bar that separates what you've installed versus what you've installed versus what you haven't installed, you notice that there is now a pull down menu there that says filters and versions. So when I click filters and versions, I can say if I'm looking for a previous version, maybe I want the CS6 version of Photoshop for whatever reason, and I can just click and install the CS6 version, the CC, the old version, or the new 2014 version. So previous version gives you your, we're archiving, as we promised, back to CS6, and you can install any version you need forward on Mac or Windows. All right, now, here's what we came here to learn today. And that is, uh, let's say that I'm no longer using uh, Dreamweaver. I could just go, I am still using it, but let's say I'm no longer using it. I can now, there's a little gear right here that if you don't don't notice you would never you know click on it but if you click on that little gear there's your uninstall so now there's a manage application where i can click uninstall and uninstall the application right here or at least get the process started right here from the creative cloud desktop application so uh, those are just a few benefits uh, that again kind of sneak in as the desktop app keeps getting updated and we're listening to your feedback so when people said hey I wish I could just uninstall from there. The engineers listen and they put that in there. So you can just uninstall from the same place that you're doing your installs from. So um, there's your uninstall right from the Creative Cloud Desktop app. And again, the ability to install applications you haven't installed and the ability to go back and look at previous versions or group them by uh, specific interests like graphic design. So with that said, I hope you learned something today and this was a quick one, but uh, it's an important one for those of you especially who are new to Creative Cloud or just don't always notice when little things like that get added. I uh, hope you learned something and if, and if so, we'll catch you on the next one. And if not, we'll still catch you on the next one. Take care.